to driving from Sitkop test center following a test road. As you already know, After you are not allowed to start from yards, the test center anymore. Left. So I'm starting right. from turn the side left. roads. I'm going to turn left onto Medstone Road. Doing the observation. Quite busy on my right. Yeah, do a good observation whenever you reach a junction. Don't be impatient. As long as you've been asked to give way, keep looking right, left, right. Here the speed is 15. Also for independent driving, you can read the sat nav to plan ahead. Be more proactive at the than end of the road, reactive. Turn left. I know I'm going to turn left at the end of the road. There are two left here, two side roads. I'm not gonna see yet. Once I pass the second one, interior left though. Turn see. left. And here is such a lovely junction. It's nice and open. I've checked on both sides. I don't have to stop necessarily. But if you come to a stop sign, you must stop your car. Even though you think that the road looks clear. If you've been asked to stop, you stop. Give ways is give way. If it's an open junction, just like a roundabout, you don't have to stop necessarily. I can see I've After got a car which is parked yards, on the, the left with a warning light. Exit. So this time it's an obstacle to me. I'm going to look to the right, interior right, pull my signal to the right to avoid them. Left signaling left. If they do not have any warning lights, right I don't have to do this as uh, they are parked. So I'm going to the roundabout, looking to the right. And I've got a lovely gap here. Interior left, signal left, second exit. Yeah, so when you're passing a parked vehicle, you don't have to signal. But the car had some warning lights. It become an obstacle to me. I don't know what they're about to do. So I have to check my mirrors, signal, moving to the right, signal back, coming back. Either with a junction just before that, I just check my mirrors. I don't need to signal. So you have to be mindful of that as well. Don't need to confuse anybody. Here the speed is 40. So after the roundabout, we are now on 40. Yeah? So check interior mirror, pick up your speed. So this is 40. You can see the speed everywhere on the lamp post as well. It's quite repetitive. I can see a sign of staggered crossroads. So it's good to know your sign, to know where you are. To know what's happening on the roads and always look ahead of you looking ahead i can see there's a bit of traffic it's not that bad uh, i'm still doing 39 anyway so now 40 every time you accelerate check interior mirror if you want to decrease your speed check interior mirror now i can see the cars are breaking so i check my interior mirror there is a car following me, so they have to know that I'm going to slow down. Therefore, I'm coming to my brakes. Now, check interior, right the mirror. I need to pick up the speed. Check interior, using my brakes. So, there is a bit of traffic here. Yeah, although we're on 40, but you know, sometimes 40 does not mean that you'll be driving fast, you know, you might get stuck in traffic, just like now. It's 40, but I'll be driving us like you know, right now I'm doing seven miles per hour, to be honest. So, yeah. Car in front is braking, check interior mirror, use my brakes as well two windows behind me and then stopping just here here i'm able to see the back tires of the car i'm following and the top of the vehicle anything higher than you two back tires and top same size same cars dimensions back tires two mirrors
I can see a sign of a side road on the left and I can see there is a car emerging. So I know what's going to happen. Pedestrians on the left as well. The car in front is braking. I check my interior mirror using my brakes. Check interior mirror. Right door mirror to move off again. Every time I stop my car, let's say if it's a meeting, interior ride to drive off again. If you come to a full stop, your car has stopped just before you go, check all your mirrors. Always be aware of your surroundings. It's good to be in control. Be again uh, proactive. Always good to know your surroundings, to see who's there and what they're looking to, to do like bikes, motorbikes, or anybody looking to overtake you as well. Checking my interior mirror, picking up a bit of speed. Again, interior mirror, slowing down. It's a lovely day. Just think about your two-second rule today. So I check my mirrors, and I could spot the motorbike coming. So from the test center, I've been driving on Maidstone Road and I can see about 800 yards, I'm going to turn left on Burke Road Road. So really parts of your independent driving, don't wait for the sudden nav to tell you where to go. You can glide time to time and then plan better. Check out all my mirrors. God, I can smell the countryside here. Ooh, the smell is strong. I'm in Kent. I can see a motorbike again coming behind me as I check my mirrors. And uh, as you can see, the car in front of me, they moved all the way to the left to allow the motorbike to go. You don't have to because they're literally a meter from the curb. They were fine where they were. So hopefully they've checked their mirrors to the left before they do so because you might also have uh, a, a bike on the left hand side so right now i'm literally a meter from the curb i've got a good position if i see a motorbike coming either when i go around me i'm not gonna move to the left all okay? right so i'm staying where where i am change my speed a bit if, if i can and they can go just around my car i'm not going to the left uh, to give them that space the space is big enough and uh, before you do that, if by any chance you want to give them the space, please check your left door mirror as well, as you might have another motorbike on your left hand side. As you know, the road is a shared place. Yeah, again, checking all the mirrors because the car was um, stationary. So I stopped my car and looking all around. Every time you stop fully, before you go, look all your mirrors. Be aware of your surroundings. I can see the speed still the same, still 40, but we are into traffic right now. Every time you drive or we look ahead of you to plan i can see there are some traffic lights coming and i'm going to turn left about 140 yards so we're still on maidstone road i'm going to turn left about 320 back roads roads Check all my mirrors. Moving a bit. Roads, I can see that traffic lights are red. After two 
dressing nicely check interior mirror using my brakes as I need to stop the car so I'm going to turn left about 110 yards till traffic lights however on the left hand side I can see there's another side road so therefore I'm not gonna signal at 70 yards because if I do so people might think I'm turning into a beef eater so I'm gonna signal once I passed beef eater there was a junction on the left and I'm going to turn left at the traffic lights So you might also be taken here to Beef Eater to do some maneuvers as well, bay parking, okay? Forward or reverse here, they are allowed to do that. So After you might be taken here. Yards, there is a box junction left. here, I'm looking, have I got space? Yes, mirrors, mirrors, signal left. Turn left. And I'm turning, I can see 20. So new road, new mirrors, and the speed 20 now. So you find the speed just before you turn into a new road. So while you're turning into a new road, don't look into the mirrors first. Assess the road you're going to. Look for any clues to help you to know where you are. Look for signs and the speed as well. So now I'm on 20. So just imagine from 40 to 20. But that makes sense. Oh, it's very tight here. 20 again on the lamppost. On the floor it says slow. So I'm still on 20. Side road on the right. I'm on the main road. I could probably to over them. I can spot your 40 now. So the speed is going to change. But the speed cannot change yet until I reach 40. So I'm still on 20. Once I reach 40, interior mirror, right door, pick up the speed now. So now I'm on 40. So this is a single carriageway. And the maximum speed is 40. So left hand bend, going more to the right. Cyclist on the pavement. The car about to emerge on my left hand side. I'm aware of them. Again, I'm on the main. But it's good to be aware to know what they're going to do just in case they decide to drive off. Glancing to the sat nav, 700 yards, I'm going to turn left. Remember when you're driving fast on geo carriageway or single carriage, we signal early as well. About 200 yards is good to put the signal on. The faster we drive, After the earlier we signal. Yards, turn left. Same, that's why my sat nav has also warned me a bit early that I'm turning left. About 400 yards. I'm not going to signal yet. Check my mirrors. And now I'm putting my signal 200 yards. Turn left. So the second instruction, just a warning. Okay, just to warn me that you are turning here. And I could see another speed limit on this road is 30 now. Check interior, radio mirror, new roads, and I pick up the speed. I'm on 30 now. Yeah, so when the sat nav comes second time, it's just a quick reminder, really. Not a warning, just a reminder that you are really turning. But if you signal there and there, Therefore, your signal comes late. So, right hand bends. Check my mirror to the left. After 300 yards, turn left. I've got a car in front of me. Another right hand bend coming. Check interior mirror. Change of speed. Meetings. Interior right door. Going back. So I'm going to take the next one on the left. Now GR checking the mirrors. Now I'm going to signal 70 yards. Put the signal on. Speed goes obviously. Look into the new road. It's nice and clear. Check into the 
to the road first, people, somebody crossing on top, new road, new mirrors. Always assess the road before you check your mirrors. Right hand bands, check interior, change the speed as I can't see who's coming, going to the left. Check interior right door, move back in the middle of the road as a compact vehicle on both sides. Now again, another right hand bed, interior left door, move a bit to the left. Interior right door, coming back. Again, interior left door, move a bit to the left again to make sure I can see who's coming behind the van. The car in front is slowing down, the signaling last minute. Yeah, I always give the cars behind you time to react. Don't wait last minute to put the signal on because you already know where you are going. So that car knew that they were going home. They should have signal earlier. At the so, end of the road, turn left. So interior, left door, signal. Turn left. Changing speed. Doing a good observation. I can see there are some temporary light as well. And there's a space for me to go. So coming more towards the curb to give the oncoming vehicle space to pass. I'm gonna be more here and of course space to pass. So I move my car a bit more to the left, more to the curb, is to give uh, the oncoming vehicle space to pass as well as I've got a van parked on the right hand side. Uh, they're on the pavement, but Vans always need a lot of space, so therefore I have to be more to the left to give space to the oncoming vehicles. So all of those things you need to think of. If you feel like uh, the space won't be enough because there's a parked vehicles and you've been asked to wait behind the light, to wait a bit further back to allow the oncoming cars to pass. Now checking all my mirrors as the lights have changed. So this traffic light is a freeway. That means those on the side road also got traffic light. So those on the main roads, they got light and the side road as well got light. That's why it's called a freeway control. Thank you. So we saw the speed limit, it has not changed. So I'm still on 30. So whenever the speed changes, you're going to see the speed. If you have not seen the new one, stick with At the, the end one you saw last. I have to be very mindful of this curb to the observations and then go. Yeah, so Talkin Lane. So now I'm going to go turning right on Baldwin's Park. After 100 yards, turn right, then cross the roundabout. Turn right, then cross the roundabout. The top, Baldwin's Park. So I've been asked to cross the roundabout. This is not a roundabout. As you guys already know, junctions After 200 yards, got markings the on the floor. First Here there's exit, no markings then, on the, the floor. The road, so it is not left. a roundabout, just a road restriction. So don't put any signal, okay? Just go, you don't need to stop your vehicle. Cross just keep going. Right as you can see on the floor, exit, there are no then, markings. At the end of the road, just be in good left. control of your car. Like here, I'm the one with, with the obstruction. I allow these guys to go and I'll wait here be courteous you're welcome and then check the mirror again there is a bus stop here as you know we can drive on bus stops i've got another car with some warnings again we don't know what is going on at the end of the road turn left i'm going to turn left at the end of the road here turn left nice and open
yes so that road restriction it is not a roundabout there are no markings on the floor i repeat again okay so just drive i keep driving we find markings on the floor at junction to give way or to stop the car it is not a roundabout driving the right we give way to you this remind me a bit of a uh, french roundabout to go in front uh priority to the left okay so those coming to the right hand side have to stop and give way to the left but here it's not a roundabout okay you don't have any markings just keep going the right go markings on the floor once you uh, come out of that junction come back to the left okay you are learner stick to the left that's why I saw me moving lane back to the left so don't keep it to the right so signal back come back to your left hand side and the speed is 40 do your 40 if you don't want to do 40 at least do 37 but don't be too slow and the speed is all over again on the lamppost quite repetitive again Right. So on the side 
now a video second count down more that put my signal on 200 yards and I can see the new speed limit 30 go right on the right about fourth exit so I'm going to go right taking the fourth exit and the roundabout looking to the right it's really nice and clear that is number one when the signal comes so put it back yourself that is number two here and that's number three in the middle here check interior left door put the signal to the left check again it's nice and clear come back and exit new road new mirrors i'm on 30 now after 300 yards the bus has turn stopped. right man four think about people that might be walking behind the bus as well as an perception To the road I'm going, there are two markings on the floor one that goes straight, and there's a pedestrian, one that goes straight, and one that goes right. So come back to the left, that goes straight. Yeah, with the new law, unfortunately, it might be a bit risky sometimes, but we have to stop the car. While I was turning, my speed was good, so I could see her coming. She was running, not ready to stop either, so I have to give away anyway. So let's put the new law in place as well. So now I'm back to the test center. It's 15 here, and I'm going to go After right 100 here. yards, turn right. So I'm not going back to the test right. center, but I'm turning before the test center. So when you go back to the test center, you drop towards the yellow step. And then returning back. So back to the test center and did the end of the test routes. So I'm going